Look, man, did y'all hear about what happened? That riot that just took place in New York City with the Twitch streamer Kai Sinat? Man, look, bro, it's getting crazy out here. I don't know what's going on on these internet streets. I don't know how clout chasing has become such an addictive drug out here. But, man, look, these people out here is just doing anything for fame, anything for attention, man. It's terrible. Allegedly, apparently, a popular Twitch streamer by the name of uh, Kai Sinat. Good dude, good dude. You know, I've watched some of his streams. I've watched some of his content. You know, one of the biggest streamers in the world and the biggest black african-american streamer he's in trouble tonight man uh the internet antics may have um gone too far and look like that boy done caused a riot all over new york city causing thousands of dollars of damage and property man people breaking cars breaking into homes i saw footage of a worker a uh, 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 somebody a business owner out there in new york city man who was soaking wet people done broke into his bodega stole all his stuff trashed his business and look man look young kai Sinet, he might be on the hook for all these damages man y'all see this why you're seeing that crowd there chase after that, that's it that's the vehicle right there that they believe kai look at them kids on top of that right car, man. safan was saying he was there he was in the crowd for a little bit of time but clearly this was an out of control crowd and Bro, the moment one of them kids fall off that car, you already know somebody getting sued, man. Somebody getting sued for that. And no, no freebies given ways. away, no yeah. giveaway whatsoever getting in the car. But clearly you're looking at a very dangerous situation with this car now driving pretty fast with those people hanging on to the speed, side bro. and top of it. Yo, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me, let me, let me hip y'all to what's going on real quick. So Kai Sinat, he decided to throw a giveaway in New York City for all of his fans. For those who don't know, man, Kai has what, 5 million followers on Instagram, 11 million followers total on the internet. You know what I mean? On social media, 11 million followers this kid has. And he decides to do a giveaway where he promised his followers that he would give away, I think, 300 PlayStation 5s. He was giving away $100 gift cards computers he sees allegedly you know what i'm saying he told his followers to meet him i think three o'clock by 3 30 the crowd went crazy and kyle wasn't even able to give nothing away it just turned into a melee out there man it's looking crazy out here it's looking crazy look somebody done stole a truck what? No. bro they stole a truck <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. They they wildin' out here, man. They wildin'. <laughs> look at these kids on his car, bro. Oh my gosh. Look at it, bro. Look. Boom. That's a lawsuit right there. I'm showing y'all some of the footage right now. Look at this. Oh no, oh no. Yo, they out there fighting. This is terrible, bro. This is it's ridiculous, bro. I'm here acting like straight animals. Yo! Breaking stuff, man. Riding. This social media stuff is getting crazy, man. And look, it's situations like this that's going to make it harder for young black creators and creators as a whole to really do this social media thing and really be successful. You got to understand, man. Look, I like Kasanet. I understand that he's a good kid. You know what I mean? He's young. He's 21 years old. Clearly, the boy wasn't thinking. And they reporting right now that that boy didn't even have a permit to do this, ladies and gentlemen. He literally flooded New York City with no permit. Police had to dispatch. They saying right now, police had to dispatch a thousand and police officers to get these kids in order and the police got attacked you understand what i'm saying now with great power comes great responsibility if you have 11 million followers bro and you tell everybody that you're gonna be somewhere at three o'clock you gotta expect this type of stuff to happen bro you gotta expect this bro i'm look at this it's the whole this damn near Yo, the whole park is flooded. People got out there got hurt. There was kids that was bleeding. Businesses got destroyed. And you got to understand, man, a lot of these young kids, man, these young YouTubers and streamers, man, a lot of times they just be thinking about the views, the likes, how many subscribers they could get. And they not, they not really thinking about the damage, the real world harm that this internet stuff is bringing these days, man. You know, even though the internet stuff is online and ain't real, this is this is real stuff right here. This is causing real world harm and it's, it's completely irresponsible. And, and I understand that Kai's only 21 years old, but bro, this boy is a young millionaire, man. You mean to tell me nobody on his team 
was like, yo, Kai, get a permit. Like, yo, Kai, if somebody break some windows, they're going to sue you. You're going to be out hundreds of thousands of dollars, man. You know what I mean? And I just hate this because Kai, just a few months ago, I think, what, last year, he broke the record as the most successful black streamer on Twitch, man. And I was real proud of him, man. He even won Streamer of the Year at the Streamy Awards. You know, he's doing he's doing some epic things for the culture. And unfortunately, man, I hate this. I really hate this. Unfortunately, it's situations like this that the media and the police and the state and the city is going to try to paint that boy as a menace, as a reckless endangerment to society. And all of the positive things that Kai's done, they're going to try to use this against him, man. And I hate that, bro. I hate that for us, man. Look at this. Oh, my God. Just out there damaging property. Come on, man. Just out here doing anything, man. Nah, y'all niggas is bugging us. We can't have shit. Like the young girl said in the footage, they bugging. We can't have nothing. Come on, what's the what's the whole point of that, man? I'm gonna be real with you. This gonna make it hard for content creators, man. It's gonna make it hard for social media influencers, man. When a creator gets as big as Kai and then does reckless stuff like that, they start stripping away opportunities for other creators. That's beneath them. Bro, this is putting the target on the back. Potentially, this might put targets on the back, man, of young black creators and smear what we trying to do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at this. Stop it on the people call like that, bro. Come on. My God. My God. Man, chat, tell me what y'all think about all this. Tell me what y'all think about all this, man. Look, this is the part right here that really makes it look like the influence is having a negative impact. This lady right here says, thousands of men chant NYPD, suck my you know what. Can't say the word. After storming the streets of New York, influencer meetup and video game giveaway hosted by influencer Kaisenet, who has over 11 million followers. And the lady asks, do you think social media... It's causing harm to society. All these kids is yelling F the police, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, what does that look like for a young black creator who's trying to do historical things, man? Who's trying to do good things for the community? I'm going to be real with you, man. Like, uh, look at all this. Look at all this garbage and trailer. They trash the city, man. Who has a DJ to understand? Let me take y'all to that, to that business owner who got attacked by them kids, man. And because they destroyed his business, they hit him upside the head. Man, when you a hardworking person, you get up every day and you go to work. You try to provide a living for your family. You start a business from the, from the ground up. Then people come through and just smash your stuff, break into your business and just destroy his life. Work like that? Come on, man. Hold up. This is the dude right here. A gentleman who runs one of those kiosks that, you know, you see him on the sidewalk all the time that, that have like snacks, like little mini bodega kiosks. Um, and his whole kiosk was ransacked all the ships were broken and, and pulled apart things were taken off of it um and he was saying that he was injured uh because he was trying to stop the kids and they hit his head his neck his back um the gentleman is in his 60s um and you know he seemed he was talking to emts that were there and talking to the police that were there giving them a report of what happened but you know a totally just innocent victim in all this that he was just doing his job going about his day and uh his his business got ransacked there Look, they even had to stop the trains, the metro trains, the subway came to a complete stop. And this boy damn near shut the city down, man. They couldn't even stop at that train. They had to bypass that whole area. And thousands of people who was riding on the trains was pretty much delayed and, and brought to a complete stop because of this madness, man. And I saw somebody say that it wasn't Kyle's fault. Let me find your comment. I saw somebody in the chat say that it wasn't Kyle's fault. You feel what I'm saying? And look, man, but it is, though. Let's come on. Let, let's be real. It is, though. Like, I love Cassinet. I'm a fan of the young kid. You understand what I'm saying? And I want to see him win, but not like this. You feel me? You got to understand when you have 11 million followers, bro, and you tell them kids to be at Times Square at three o'clock and those 5,000, 10,000 kids start breaking stuff because you told them to all come down there. That's your fault. Legally. Now, Kai didn't ask them to do that. Kai didn't tell them to do that. I didn't coerce them to do that. 
But you got to understand he used his influence and he orchestrated an event that he had absolutely no control of. And you got to understand legally he should have got a permit. You understand what I'm saying? Legally, it's your responsibility to call City Hall and be like, look, I have a large following. I want to do something good for my fans. Can we please have a police presence just to make sure that everybody's safe? Come on now. How the hell you get 5,000 people downtown with no police, no security, no nothing set up? You just going to give away PlayStations and that's it? As famous as you are. Come on now. And look, man, I love Kai. Don't get me. Don't get it wrong. It's just that homeboy wasn't young boy wasn't thinking, man. It's, it's totally it is your responsibility to be responsible with your platform and, and, the, and the blessings you was given. And this is a complete irresponsible and mishandling of the blessings that he was given. So, yes, you know, Kai didn't intend for this to happen. But if he told all them boys to come down there at three o'clock, didn't call the police department, didn't set up no security measures. You know what I'm saying? Didn't allow the police to pop properly orchestrate traffic so that people could get home. You know, they said that people was suffering from panic attacks. There was people whose face was bloodied up. There was innocent bystanders who was getting hit, who was getting sprayed, who was getting stuff thrown at them. The police chief of New York City got busted in the face with some type of object I saw. I can't even find the footage right now. But man, it's crazy. How dare you say? How dare is a grown person you say on this chat? That it, that, that it ain't his fault. There you go. How you say that as a grown man with bills and responsibilities? Maybe you ain't got none. I don't know. But anybody that's hardworking, that got bills, responsibilities, kids, you understand what I'm saying? Something to lose? You can't play like that out here. Especially when you got millions. You can't play like that out here. That's a fact, man. He should have planned it better. That's right. I see you, Jeanette. Jeanette Harris said he should have planned it better. He ain't even had no permit. You know how much you know how much money that boy about to get sued for? They about to sue this young man into the Stone Ages. Look at the city, man. Look at the city. Look at the city. Who gonna pay for that? Who gonna pay the bill? All those thousands of cops. All that property that got damaged. For what? For a PlayStation 5? For some clicks and views? You gotta understand, man. I, I love Kai, bro. I love Kai. You know what I'm saying? I love that boy, man. I, I, I love the energy that he bring. And I'm going to be real with you, man. The boy's been positive his whole career. He really ain't had no stains on him. He's a positive kid. And I hate to see this happen to him. But man, he wasn't wise. His team was not wise. And not only is Kai Sinat in trouble, ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand it. NYPD is now saying that they about to start investigating and more closely monitoring and watching content creators which ones you think they talking about the light ones or the dark ones who you think the police gonna be watching now ignorance man ignorance ignorant people in the chat this ain't towards kai this towards that idiot that said it wasn't his fault but look man look you know without no further ado look kai sinet has been pursued by the nypd they actually arrested them they lift that boy up like a football the police lift that boy up like a football over the crowd and took his butt into handcuffs man man they folded that boy like a pretzel man he's a good kid man don't get me wrong kai's a good kid man i love him but they hey, he in trouble for this one man for those who don't know this kai right here they got him boys <laughs> Oh, 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 hold up, hold, hold. What's the police chief doing though? The police chief look like he trying to choke young boy out though. What's going on here? What's going on? Okay, there go Kai right there. So Kai got past the police chief. I think he's trying to stop Kai's security because they about to lock him up. Yeah, they got my boy, man. They got my boy, man. Really, the whole AMP. For those who don't know, Casanet is part of a streaming team, a streaming group called AMP. They really locked up the whole AMP. You know what I'm saying? Agent. I don't know what's going on with Phantom. I, you know, I ain't see Phantom get locked up, but Agent got locked up. Kai got locked up. The whole squad. Um, and Duke Dennis. They got Duke Dennis in cuffs too. They got Duke right here. 
That's dude right there. Right there. Got him with all the chains on. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Duke, Kai, I'm sure they didn't know that it would get to this magnitude. But man, they fans really let them down because their audience, these young people, and there's some grown folks out there too. If they didn't riot, their favorite creators wouldn't be locked up right now. You know what I mean? But man, look, let me get to uh, what the police said. You know what I mean? They just did a press conference. They're about to officially charge Kai Sinat right now, man. Are you going to charge Kai Sinat? Yes. The, the influence is charged. He's going to be charged with uh, uh, multiple counts. Uh, at least two counts of um, inciting a riot, unlawful assembly, and a, and a few other charges. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got to go to Google on this one, man. Check this out. So Google says that the crime of inciting a riot in New York City is a class A misdemeanor, which is in New York. It's punishable by up to one year in jail, three years of probation, and up to a fine of $1,000. Now, we know that Kai can afford $1,000, but look, his fine is going to be way greater than that because of all the damage to property, the NYPD who are injured, the business owners and the businesses that got destroyed, whew, the traffic that got stopped. They had to stop the whole subway and train commute system in the tunnels in New York City. Traffic got completely put to a halt. And look, at by the end of it, Kai is going to possibly owe way more than a thousand dollars when the city is done with him man kai is not a street dude kai is not a thug kai is not a bad kid but man they about to hit that boy he about to get a criminal record now man this police chief said that what kai Sinat did both it showed two things the power of social media but it also showed as the police chief said the dangers of social media i in no shape or form feel that that's what kai Sinat was trying to do i think that what kai did i think he meant well i think he was absolutely foolish and irresponsible about the way that he went about it and i think that what he didn't estimate that some of his followers may have had some negative intentions on his positive plans you know he wanted to give out playstations and he wanted to give out money to his fans but some of them kids and some of those people that came out there man they came out there to take they came out there to steal some of those followers some of those young people, they came out there to destroy. Kai screwed himself over by not getting a permit, by not registering with the city to get a permit. But his followers also screwed him over by completely destroying the city.